Hey guys, my name is Abby, a worm-based developer. So in honor of the big international worm meeting coming up this week, we're putting on a series of videos for an introduction to worm base. So this is video number one, and we're going to look at layout and general overview how to navigate through worm base. So first, here we are at the worm base homepage. So we're going to start at the top. We have a header, oh, pretty standard. So we're going to first look at this navigation bar, this gray part underneath. So in these first two sections, they're for browsing through the data we have at worm base. So first is species. So if I'm interested in a specific species, I can go to, say, C. elegans, probably. And these are all the classes of data that we have on C. elegans. So I can click on those to continue browsing through that. The next section is resources. These are things that aren't specifically attached to a species, like papers, persons, people. Oh, I didn't mean to click on that. Go back to the home page. I can click go back to the home page at any time I want by clicking on the worm-based logo. So yeah, resources, anything not attached to species. The tools has all your old favorites. So WormArt's there, Blast, Blat, GBrowse. Uh, so these are just tools for helping you find the data that you want or help you analyze the data. So over on to the right-hand side, you can log in. So I'm, I'm going to log in right now. I'll use my Google account. I think, oh, I'm not logged in. We'll just do that quickly. And uh, yeah, it logs me here into WormBase. I have all my saved items can log out again pretty easily. And so you can also save items to your worm base by just clicking on the star you see. So here at our activity random page, uh, there's a star. So if I click on that, it shows up in my worm base. And when I click on my worm base here in my navigation bar, it shows up in my favorites. So I can save my favorite things so that I can get to them a bit easier. So another important feature of worm base is the sidebar over here, which actually controls what you see on the page. So most of our pages are made up of widgets, which are these boxes that you can drag around um, and just minimize, maximize, and you can close them. So this sidebar, actually, if you click on the X, that closes that widget, opens it up again. So this controls what I'm actually seeing, what actually shows up on this page. So it's very important. Um, yeah, so if I'm on, yeah. So let's go to a gene. So the final part here is the search bar. So I'll go to my favorite gene, Abby One. I like to think this gene was named after me. Probably not, but um, definitely not. So from here, inside, there's a ton of widgets here. And maybe I don't feel like going through and opening each one of them. So what I can do is go over to page settings, then click on open all. And this will open all of the widgets for me. So I can just go through and see that data. And WormBase will actually remember this if you log in, so it'll remember which widgets I have left open, which ones I've closed. That way I'm only ever seeing the data I'm, I'm actually interested in. All right, so uh, that's part one of navigating through WormBase. I hope that helps. Stay tuned for part two, and I'll see you guys later. Thanks. Hey, so if you still have any questions or anything happens in WormBase, at the bottom of every page we have a questions, feedback, and help tab. So you just open that up, leave your name and email, um, if you're logged in, you'll already have that. It's like the type of question you have, any content correction, question, or everything's broken, please let us know. Um, just type what you have there, then hit send, and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. We'd love to hear from you. You can also email us directly. Um, email is help at wormbase.org. Or you can uh, see our Twitter account, so it's uh, at wormbase. Hey guys, so for those of you that will be at the International Worm Meeting this year, here is a quick schedule overview of, um, yeah, the worm based events that are going on. So quick overview first night, we have big plenary talk, very exciting. You can hear what's happening in worm base where we're going. Um, this year we're putting on a lot of workshops. So both Thursday and Saturday we have workshops going on. So we have a lot of big data mining stuff going on and lots of new data is coming out. So uh, you can come to those, learn about worm base. And also you can just come hang out at the worm base lounge. So we're going to be setting up a little lounge help desk type area inside the poster sessions. So you can come get some swag, you can talk to me, I'll be there the whole time and it'll be great. So come visit us, come see our posters, come talk to us, we'd love to hear from you, I'd love to meet you. And I'll see you guys there at the meeting. Bye.